Welcome to a new style of content on Ninja Empire. I have to use text-to-speech for privacy reasons, but I'll try to figure it out so it sounds as natural as possible. Top 5 Most Shocking Fails in American Ninja Warrior Season 2 I'm skipping Season 1 for now because there's not much to base expectations off of, so not as many surprises. Number 5 is Travis Furlanic failing the balance tank in Stage 2. It is one of only four competitors to make it to Japan in both of the first two seasons, three if you don't include Levi Muenberg. Last season he surprisingly failed the jumping spider, but he came back even stronger and did very well in the preliminary rounds, even taking the top spot in the semi-finals. He made all the way to the fourth obstacle of stage two, the balance tank, an obstacle he practiced during boot camp, but couldn't keep his balance and failed. Number four is Brian Orozco failing the circle slider in semi-finals. Brian Orozco was obviously one of the most prominent competitors going into this season, having competed in South five times already and getting a podium spot in the first season of American Ninja Warrior. He had a fast finish in the qualifier, but he was more cautious in the semi-finals and after completing the salmon ladder and couldn't keep his grip on the circle slider. The reason this isn't higher on the list is because this didn't eliminate Orozco from the competition, as his placement of 11th still advanced him into the finals. Number 3 is Shane Thandles timing out on stage 1. He had a very similar fail in the last season, where he ran out of time before attempting the Tarzan rope. He came back strong and qualified again for Japan, but again didn't go fast enough. This time around, he got to the very end of the course but was just seconds away. It is surprising that he made the same mistake twice. Number 2 is Trevor Vaughn failing the salmon ladder in the semi-finals. In the qualifier, impressively finished the course with the fastest time of 39.05 seconds, the fastest of the entire season, even doing so as a rookie. He was expected to go farther, but took it slower on the extended course which cost him. He lost his grip on the salmon ladder, and while there were many others who failed the same obstacle and still made it through, Trevor wasn't fast enough to advance to the finals, with 21st place. Number 1 is Paul Darnell, failing the cross-bridging qualifying. He showed to be a strong competitor in the first season of American Ninja Warrior, getting top placements in the first rounds and making it to Japan, but here he injured his right foot and his season ended. Expectations were high now to see what attack potential he had, but his season was put to an abrupt end when he failed only the third obstacle in the qualifier course. Thank you for watching this video, many more like this coming.